Your TV doesn't love you, but I do, I do. Your TV doesn't love you, but I do, I do. UHF and VHF, it doesn't breathe, it doesn't have breath, but I do, I do, and I love you. I don't know, as far as like determining whether or not you're a hero, it's definitely like a quality, not quantity thing. Like they're looking for details. Because Lucas saved two little girls, but he busted out the front door before the stairway collapsed. Meanwhile, I'm stuck upstairs with this kid, and I'm like, alright, I guess we just gotta wait for the fireman. I can already hear the sirens in the distance. And so I take the kid, I put him in the tub, he's like, Mister, what are you doing? I turn on the cold water. And I let that cold water rise so just his little face is sticking out. But right? It's like, Mr. I'm going to drown. I'm like, you're not going to drown. You're, there's, we're, there's no concern of water. This is fire we're bothered about. You know, and I wasn't making a ton of sense. And I and I, I, uh, I, I go into the medicine cabinet, you know, and I find ointment. And I start putting it all over the kid's leg. And he's like, oh, Mr. That hurts. And I'm like, this is going to, it hurts now, but it's going to feel better later. You know, I didn't mean to say it to him mean but I was so full of adrenaline from the fire and all the rushing around and carrying the kid that I was just like a lion everything was coming out like a roar you know so anyway they swing the ladder up on the side of the house clank, clank, and then I hear him coming up and then <coughs> the kid's like oh mister what was I don't know what that was but I look we found out later the radiator exploded in the process obliterating the fireman's ladder and uh, I look out, and I see them trying to figure out what to do. One of them's looking at a rope. I'm like, what are you going to do with a rope, man? He looks at me like, I don't know what I'm going to do with a rope. So I'm like, all right, these firemen are here to help us, and they're already squirting the house, and I appreciate that. But me and the, this kid, life is in our own hands, you know, and we're going to have to jump. So I'm like, get the, get the big trampoline thing. The same guy with the rope just gives me this look like we don't have one. He doesn't even have to say it, you know. So at that point, I go, screw it. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to jump out backwards, and then you're going to just put all of your, your weight on my belly. We're going to make this beer belly into a life belly. And uh, that actually, that ended up being the headline of the newspaper. Uh, anyways, we jump out. Thud. And the kid, you know, bounces on my belly. Oh, oh man! Now I could feel my kidneys switching sides and a couple knots getting tied in my intestine. And they run up, you know, they take the kid. He's fine. He's crying, but he's fine. And then they put me in the back of an ambulance with great care. And uh, I, and you know, I don't know if it's a usual thing, but this reporter gets into the back of the ambulance with me, and she's like, "So tell us the story how this happened." And I tell him, you know, how uh, Lucas and I were out behind the sweet hellos, you know, just eating some of the stale cookie bouquets that they threw out the night prior. Uh, you know, Lucas was a little upset with me for letting out that detail, and I'm like, "Dude, we do that every single Sunday." I mean, if you're like that ashamed of something, you shouldn't be doing it on a weekly basis. But he's like, you know, he was still there the next Sunday, crunching and munching on a big old baseball-themed one. But anyways, we were back there eating that cookie bouquet, and then we saw the smoke and all that. And like, what do you mean? I ran over the house. We saw some squirts up screaming from the windows, and we ran up and we grabbed them, and we did we did what we had to do to save them, you know. And uh, later on, they they uh, in the newspaper the next day under that funny headline that's when it like mentioned that I put the kid in the tub and the ointment and all that and I think that's the reason why I got a key to the city uh, while Lucas didn't get anything not that I mean it's a cool thing to have around but it's not like there's some great golden door to the city that it opens up I mean there could be maybe there is but you know I've yet to see it mm -hmm.